hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're going to take a look into Sagittarius's monthly tarot reading for August in this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the Oracle of the shadow in the light then we are going to dig deeper into the message with the traditional tarot deck. And in this message, we are going to look into the energy surrounding you this month. We will also look into what is coming in for you, Sagittarius, what to let go of. Um, let's take a look at what's working in your favor, what's challenging you this month. And then we'll pull a few cards for the advice moving forward. I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's take a look here, Sagittarius, for you guys. For the month of August. What does Sagittarius need to see here, Spirit, for August 2020? Please and thank you. Most important message for... Sagittarius. I almost said Aquarius, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Sagittarius. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. Faceless Ghosts and the Haunted Girl. Some This card talks about ancestors or people that have passed trying to guide you in a specific direction. Okay? For more information, guys, on how to book... How... Almost said how to book personal readings, but we're not doing, um, we're not booking personal readings right now. So the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month, it's all linked below in the description box. And Sagittarius, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So... Well, these are the, we have 22 and 2 for the first two cards out. This is back off, um, intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. I feel like there's a situation here where you're being guided to take a step back from a person, place, or thing at the moment and focus on yourself Sagittarius this card right here fairy in the divine hand it talks about um, misguided direction or somebody trying to mislead you okay and then voodoo in blue it talks about backing off or releasing this letting this go for now okay twos that is the very beginning stage number right um in numerology it can talk about collaborating it can talk about coming together um it can also um symbolize a need to kind of look into a situation a little bit deeper regain gain more information or seek more information about a situation okay there is a need here to kind of gain closure here and maybe you're trying to get you're maybe going into nature or getting in tune with the nature world here fairy of the green world you're going out into nature and trying to get grounded get get clear on what it is that you truly want to do or the next move that you want to make. Ultimately, Sagittarius, I feel like there's being a call here. You're, you're needing to let something go. Whether this is a person, place, or thing, there's something here that's being need to um, release. Okay? 
I do feel like once you release this situation, you're going to be, you're going to feel the freedom, okay? You're going to feel liberated. Right now I get this sense of withdrawal or withholding. So let's take a look here, Sag. Energy surrounding Sagittarius for the month of August. You. six to the seven of pentacles so two of wands is on the bottom of the deck i feel like there is a situation here that's it's not very fair it's not very balanced I feel like you may be putting more work into this situation than you need to over exerting yourself that may be why you're deciding to take a step back now this could be definitely in um career so like if you're in a position where you're doing you're taking on too much responsibility and not getting paid enough money for it this could also be in relationships where you're overcompensating for your partner here and i feel like with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck you're kind of at this crossroads like do i continue on this path or do i choose something different here we'll definitely say it's a little bit of an indecisive energy here sagittarius of do i stay or do i go but i feel like in the month of august you may be figuring this all out okay Take a look at what does Sagittarius need to hold on to here, Spirit, for the month of August. What does Sagittarius need to hold on to here for the month of August? Please and thank you. card out here for a Sagittarius. I feel like you're very, a, a little bit of being guarded here, okay? <laughs> There's going to be a new opportunity that's going to come in, but I feel like this being focused on the past or too much on the past and this doesn't necessarily have to be focused on a um, past relationship. Maybe, Sagittarius, what's going on here is you may be afraid to ask for more because in the past, when you had done this, it had caused some conflict within a workplace. Okay, this very well could play out in a workplace as well. I do feel here there is a little bit of a resistance. Now with these cards that flew out here, don't be afraid to ask for what you need, okay, in this situation. And I am getting more of a work, a work type of career vibe here, Sag, but it could be a relationship for some of you as well. My, my feeling here is this is kind of like career, work related. Okay. But even if this is in a relationship, um, don't be afraid to ask for what you need. But what I mean by that is like, you know, if you feel like you're taking on too many responsibilities at work and you would maybe be in the position of a lead role, maybe asking for, you know, can I get promoted? Am I going to be promoted soon? Or am I going to get a raise because I feel like I'm taking on more responsibilities um, than I'm being paid for? maybe even have an idea of how much you know how much you're asking for just in case you never know they could ask you well how much are you expecting what does Sagittarius need to let go of your spirit please and thank you 
What does Sagittarius need to let go of for the month of August? Please and thank you, Spirit. I feel like there was three of pentacles with the tower and the moon is on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there may have been a situation where you wanted to come together with a person and really work on a situation together but I feel like that's not working out in your favor and spirit wants you to release that now we're going to clarify all of this stuff but remember this is all work related it's a lot of pentacles a lot of earth energy coming out here so either you're dealing with an earth sign sag or you could be dealing with a work related situation here okay What's working in Sagittarius' favor here, Spirit? What is working in Sagittarius' favor for the month of August? Please and thank you. Okay, I'm seeing this as options. So if this is a relationship, that you're walking away from you have options okay if this is a work related situation you have options um and that may be why you're at this crossroad right here trying to decide you know which direction you want to choose you're going to choose to stay where you're at currently or you're going to choose to move forward okay there is i feel this competition vibe Okay, so either this is like a small knit community or some type of career field where everybody knows everybody, maybe like the real estate game, or this is a relationship where these people are competing for your energy, right? I feel like this new opportunity that's coming in, Sag, um, is going to be more stable, more solid than the current situation that you're in that's what i see okay but trust but verify i always say that so if you come into a reading and you feel that it's resonating okay trust that but verify what are the challenges here sagittarius is going to face for this month here spirit what are the challenges sagittarius may face for this month please and thank you now I do feel here, Sagittarius, that there may be something that you're moving forward from. One more card here. Eight of Pentacles. So again, we see a progression here. It's definitely a progression. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Judgment. Again, that competition energy there may, again, somebody is going back and forth. You may be going back and forth for somebody else's attention, or this is happening with your energy. Two people are competing for your energy, whether this is work-related or career-related. Figuring out what you truly want this month is going to be important because I feel like there's going to be a need to express that here. That's what's going to release it. And I do feel here, Sag, that you need to pay attention because there are maybe guides or ancestors that are trying to help you to make the right decision. Let's clarify this. Six to the seven of pentacles. For Sagittarius, please and thank you. Hierophant.
I am getting a sense that this is like a leadership role, a leadership position. You're taking on these characteristics of a leadership position, but haven't received the compensation for that. It's okay to express what you need here, Sagittarius. It's okay to say what you need. Okay, what do you need to feel stable, solid, secure in this job, in this relationship? If this person doesn't want to comply if they don't want to one more card for the Three of Pentacles, Tower, Ace of Cups here. If they don't want to, you know, help you to feel stable, solid, and secure in this relationship here, Sag, I feel like what needs to take place is communication. You're going to have to put yourself first in this connection, partnership. business venture and you're really going to have to stand your ground in that Sag if this person doesn't want to comply with your needs being met then you're going to have to walk away Ace of Wands Lovers Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords Sun, Knight of Swords so there's definitely a battle here that's coming through um, confrontation I'll say one or two cards for the Two of Wands with the Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Now I want to say that this is something from your past. So this is maybe a career, a position from your past. Um, this could also be like a relationship that's coming back from your past. Speak your truth clearly. I feel like you're wanting to move into calmer waters here. Okay, you're wanting to um, move forward. The need here, Sag, is to go within and get clear on what it is that you truly want. Whether this is a relationship or whether this is a job, career, what, what have you, um, getting clear on what it is that you truly want, that way when the opportunity presents itself, you're going to be able to communicate that clearly. And maybe that does, if this is like a work-related situation, maybe that has to um, involve doing some research on what that higher level position pays, what type of benefits they have, what type of responsibilities they cover. If this is a relationship, getting clear on your boundaries, what it is that you need to feel stable, solid, and secure within this relationship to take it to that next level. It's definitely a need here for communication, Saj. So, let's get a few cards here for your guys' advice for the month of August. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into um, where this is headed, right? What are the next steps moving forward? We'll take a look at if there's anything else that you need to be warned about. What new is coming in, new things coming in and how to attract that. We'll look at the outcome if the guidance is followed. We'll pull oracle cards over there. It's all going down in the extended version. That link is below. Also, guys, the second link is to subscribe to the Vimeo channel. It's $11 a month, and you get access to all of the extended versions. If it's something you're interested in, that is the second link. The Five of Swords on the bottom. This is like getting even 
okay. Um, but it's the type of getting even where nobody wins. Definitely really um, aggressive type of an energy, okay? There is a situation here, Sag, where I feel like, and if this is a relationship here, you're walking away from some this current situation that you're in. I feel like there are ties that you have to this current situation. Now, if this is job work related, maybe you've made friends within that position. Um, if this is a relationship, maybe you and this person have friends together or um, something that's holding you, keeping you trapped, but feeling this pain. Okay. It's like you're like, it's almost like a, a repeating cycle of like hurt and pain. And for some reason you feel like you have to stay in the situation here. I do feel like this is going to be a battle to get out of this. Okay. So maybe you have to negotiate a contract release something along those lines. There's something that's keeping you tied to this position here or this relationship. It's going to be different for each of you. That's why I keep saying that. Trust your intuition here and prepare. Prepare for a battle, Sag. So, Sagittarius, if you're finding that this message was helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I will say this, Sag, there are, there is somebody present, your guides, a past loved one who's trying to help you, to guide you in the right direction. And I feel like you may not be paying attention to this. Um, taking a step back and recalibrating will help you to be able to pay attention here. Okay. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Death is an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually stop working. It's not meant to exist forever. The energy and consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its natural home, but it never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely a change and everything must change because stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or a career. A soul lesson may be completed and it is time to move beyond this point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared part of your path and taught you so much. Stagnancy extinguishes progress. So this is a transition that you are going through. Okay. I feel like it's more subtle. It's not like uh, in your face. I do, however, Sagittarius feel that there's a little bit of resistance to this change. And that's going to make this change more difficult in the end. And I feel like your guides are trying to guide you in the direction you need to go. Um, so taking a step back and recalibrating is going to be able to help you to listen. Trust your intuition though, okay? If you feel like this is the right direction or this is the right path or something is off, trust that. I forgive myself. As I forgive myself, 
I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and I am free to love myself. I forgive myself. Beautiful Sagittarius, beautiful so Sagittarius. That is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.